All right, next up tonight, I'm kind of excited to see this stuff. 2013 Top Supreme Baseball Asia Edition. So this stuff was released only in Asia last year. It's got the 2013, you know, like Puig and stuff in it. Um, it was only released in Asia, and then I guess after a while, Tops decided, well, we have some left, so let's release it to the U.S. So that's what this is. So let's go over the teams. Adam L. has Indians, Pirates. Amy D. has the Giants. Andrew B.'s got his Brewers. Andrew E. with the Astros. Ben has Rockies and Rays. Chad's got the Cubs. Elliot has the Yankees. Eric Dubs has the Rangers. Greg's got the Blue Jays. Sorry, Greg M. with the Blue Jays. Greg S., Diamondbacks, Orioles, Phillies, and Nationals. Uh, Ivan A., Tigers, Angels, Dodgers, Mariners. James S., Mets. Jason S., Twins. John L., White Sox and A's. Kyle B. has the Cardinals. Paul H., Red Sox, Reds. Uh, Robert has the Braves. Stephen H. with the Royals. And Thomas B. with the Marlins. Uh, I just posted a new Inception by team, actually. It has random Cubs, though. I'm not selling the Cubs um, for right now. It's too hot. Too hot to sell by itself. So I'm either going to do a random or teams with the Cubs as a bonus giveaway. I think it makes it really fun when anybody could get the Cubs as a bonus addition to whatever team. So there is a new by teams number five. You can buy your team and get a shot at the Cubs. Wow. Two thousand thirteen Tops Supreme. This is gonna be a quick break too, by the way. Check it out. They don't really say anything. They repackaged them. Oh, you're welcome. First pack. Let's check this stuff out. Let's check this. How appropriate. The first card we get is a Japanese pitcher. Perfect. Fix my zoom here. Uehara for the Red Sox. And it's low number. 12 of 15. They're all pretty low numbered. And under that... Mike Greenwell, numbered 13 of 20, Supreme Stylings autograph for the Red Sox. Two Red Sox cards. Paul. Box two. For the Marlins, look at this Gary Sheffield autograph. Numbered one of 15. For Thomas B. And Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer, 46 of 50 for the Cubs. Yeah, two cards per box, two autographs per box. There we go. Number 8 of 50, Julio Tehran. For Robert, there you go. That's a nice one. And Goldie. 43 of 50, Paul Goldschmidt. Greg's Diamondbacks. Nice Goldie. No, there are Jersey Relic ones. Those kanji ones. I don't know. I haven't seen how yeah, how common or rare they are. There are Jersey Relics, though. Whoa. Stewart. 33 of 50. For John L., Dave Stewart. And look at this, Will Clark. Look at those two guys. 
Like 90s Bay Area stars. 44 of 50 and 33 of 50. Bay Area studs. Back in the 90s. Pretty sure I saw both of those guys play at least a couple times. I know I saw Dave Stewart start in the 80s. I remember it because it was like the only A's game I went to in the 80s. And I had to go, I'm sure I went to some terrible Giants games in the 80s and 90s. For the Red Sox, Tazawa, numbered 4 of 5. Super low number. Ooh, Dante Exum. And Matt Moore for the Rays, 14 of 20. For Ben. Was my collar popped? <laughs> no. I never had a pop collar in all my life. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Next up, Jonathan Pettibone. 26 of 50 for the Phillies. For Greg. What the heck is this? 18 of 20 for the Blue Jays, Jesse Barfield. I don't really know much about Jesse Barfield. What's the deal with that guy? Greg with the Blue Jays. What's the deal with Jesse Barfield? Next box. Next. Feels like a redemption. Yeah. Uh, that's because there's a redemption. Oh, first card, Iwakuma. 11 of 35. Three Japanese pit pitchers if you're keeping score at home. Ivan with the Mariners and the redemption. Kanji autograph relic. There it is. Kanji with a G? I thought it was with a J. Chris Sale. Ooh, that's pretty nice. The White Sox, John L. Kanji Autograph Relic. So you know what Kanji is, right? It's Japanese and... Well, it's supposed to be Japanese writing, but I've seen them and they're actually Chinese characters too. Not to get all nerd on you, but... They're not just Japanese characters. They're like... It's Kanji and Chinese characters that say their name and then it has the... You know, the relic is behind that. I wish we could hit one live so you could see. They're awesome. I swear it's spelled K-A-N-J-I. Am I wrong? Someone... Back me up on that. Maybe not. Tops wouldn't make that mistake, would they? I took Japanese for two years. That's the only reason I kind of know anything. Colby Lewis for the Texas Rangers. 24 of 35. I'm telling you, see? Kanji. And kanji is Japanese characters only. See, Japanese language has Japanese and Chinese characters in it. Ernie Banks and Ooh, Ernie Banks autograph for the Cubs. And uh Kanji is Well may, maybe I'm wrong actually. No, I'm thinking of Katakana. Hirogana and Katakana, that's what I'm thinking of. Sorry, I'm mixing up my stuff. My Asian friends will will correct me. Hirogana is Japanese writing. Katakana is Japanese writing for foreign language stuff. Next box. Learning while we break. You guys want another break of Supreme? Should we do a random team Supreme? Oh, that sounds good. It rhymes too. Random team Supreme. Dan Straley, 5 of 15 for the A's. Rosetta breaks. What is this? Alex Cobb. I saw that purple. I thought it was going to be like a one of one or something. 15 of 25, Alex Cobb. I took Japanese for couple years and I went to Japan I've been to Tokyo I stayed in Tokyo for a week best week of my life that's about all that's the only reason I know any of that I'm not like an expert or anything but all right last box of this break kind of quick break I bet we could squeeze in a random what do you think here we go oh it's a dual auto 
Oh my gosh. And there's a plate under that. 24 of 25, Salvador Perez, Billy Butler, Country Breakfast. Dual autograph for the Royals, Stephen H. Goodbye on the Royals. Nice grab there. And then there's a plate under that. Autograph. Red Sox again. Mike Greenwell, Red Sox, printing plate, one of one auto. Oh, man, Japan rules. Oh, I don't know. I've only been to Tokyo. I, I can't say the entire country of Japan rules, but Tokyo is the funnest time I've ever had. I didn't even do anything crazy. I mean, I just hung out. <laughs> like I was like, oh, yeah, it was amazing. I, you know, I didn't go to all this, like, I didn't do anything weird. It was just fun. All right, that was quick. Supreme one.